One of the things we struggle with the most in life, if we're going to be honest with ourselves, and I try to be honest with you, is this. We often want God's blessing without our confessing. So I was reading through Nehemiah this morning, and one of the things that happens in Nehemiah 9 and 10 is the people are desiring God's blessings on them as a nation as they rebuild their city, rebuild their wall. But what they remember is this, that they had sinned, their mamas had sinned, their daddies had sinned, their grandpas had sinned, they had been living in sin, which is part of the reason they had not been experiencing the blessings of God. And so what happens is in Nehemiah 9 and 10, they come together and they confess God, their sin. They remember God's blessings. They remember what he's doing. And they confess that God has continued to bless them, but yet they have continued to sin. So they lay that sin before God. They call out for his forgiveness. And here's the beautiful thing. When they call out for their forgiveness, God answers and responds. See, the same principle is true in, in 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sin, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and cleanse us of all unrighteous. So you may be wanting the blessings of God without confessing, right? So I want to encourage you today, find a time, find a spot to remember God's goodness, but also to confess your sin to God. And it's in our confession when we lay ourselves bare, open to God, that he heals us, he comforts us, and he blesses us. God bless.